I'm standing in the old ER at the Metro South Medical Facility in Blue Island. It may look like it's ready to take patients, but it's not. The infrastructure needs a complete overhaul. I come this way, the piping system, the system that provides medical air, that's oxygen, medical gases, and the vacuum suction for patients, well, that also needs to be repaired. That's how they operate ventilators. But when they're done, they will be able to handle highly acute COVID-19 patients. This will be the largest of all three one shuttered Chicago area hospitals to reopen. You are getting an exclusive first-hand look at how the Army Corps of Engineers and a private contractor are attempting to turn around this vacant and outdated Blue Island Hospital. Floor by floor, from the ER to the neonatal unit, all the way to the sixth floor, where old offices are also being turned into COVID-19 patient isolation rooms. You know, we're looking at every, every potential space in the hospital uh, to make it usable for patient space if we can, if, it, if it's a feasible option, uh, whether it was an administrative office before or other spaces that are available that we could convert those to patient spaces. We're looking at all of that and that's how, it's, how we're moving from a 350 capacity to potentially over 550. That's right, the once abandoned hospital may soon be able to hold 550 COVID positive patients. Colonel Aaron Reisinger has been in numerous war zones but never fought this kind of battle. He says it's a race against the clock. Had you ever converted a hospital before? I don't think anybody's ever worked on something that has uh, this much importance in the amount of time uh, and, 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 and how meaningful important it is to get it done. They are also quickly cutting sheet metal to create panels and ventilation systems, making as many negative pressure rooms as possible. And this is creating the negative airflow. So this is sucking the air out of the, out of the room and outside. Yeah, that's correct. It, it, when it sucks the air through, it, there's a HEPA filter in there. Yes. The cleans, captures any contaminants. Uh, and so we're spitting clean air out of the building. Another challenge, upgrading the IT system. And then there is all the floor space where old carpet had to be torn out and new laminate flooring installed. It's more than just a job for Ryan Jennings, who lives in Shanahan. I can, I'm just grateful I could be part of it to help. And um, when you see the images of, 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 of them running out of space in Italy and, and, and what they're going through in New York, what does that do to you? I mean, heartache for sure. So you now have about a 150 workers inside working 18 hours a day. That's correct. And then there's David Trollian, the CEO and head of the crew doing the rebuild from Clark Construction. He says this hits home because he grew up near Blue Island. Growing up here, playing baseball down the road, uh, what does it mean to you to see this shuttered hospital be turned around by your team to help others? Knowing what a disappointment it was that this hospital ultimately closed in 2019, being able to bring it back to life and bring it back as a service to the community feels good, feels like the right thing to do. Every single one of us are extremely honored to be part of the mission. Uh, we have a lot of energy. We have a lot of people working incredibly hard 24-7. Uh,